What's up guys, my name is Matthew and welcome to an episode of the first ever Matthew Coleman Mannequin Challenge. We are going into Bloomingdale's and we're gonna find an awesome designer look and bring it to you at a fraction of the price at a different store. I'm really excited because it's the first time I'm doing this, but hey, it should be interesting. Come on. All right, so we are back from the mall and I am rocking that mannequin's look. I'm uh, super stoked how it came out. The prices are, like I said, a fraction of the price. We tallied them up and the one at Bloomingdale's costs a little bit over 500 and the one I'm rocking right now from H&M, which is where we ended up, this came over like just about over 120 bucks. Definitely worth it. So the first piece I wanna talk about would be this denim jacket. Now, the one we were trying to compare to at Bloomingdale's was a really nice All Saints one for $180. And when we got to H&M, there were two choices to choose from. One of them was, I believe, 40, and this one came out to be $50. Went with this one because it's literally identical, opposed to some, uh, outside of like a couple detailing marks which you might be able to do yourself on this thing if you're very crafty. But it just turned out to be a really close match, so I think it was really worth the extra bucks. Next piece was the t-shirt. This was actually probably the easiest. We just looked for a white shirt with some nice coloring details. This one came out to be $10, and the one at Bloomingdale's was from Original Penguin, and it was 30 bucks. That's a nice little savings right there. Simple t-shirt, um, layered in a hoodie, and um, this one came to 25 and the one of the mannequin was from NXP and it was $98. So big savings there. All right, so to dig into the jeans, H&M does a really good job at replicating these bigger brands. These came out to 25 bucks. <laughs> like that's incredible. These, I, I really like these jeans. They're super comfortable and almost identical to the scotch and sodas that were in the $150 range. So, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy decision there. And now, for the surprise. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. The bucket hat is back, baby! Woo! Yeah, that's right, I went there. You know, the mannequin had a bucket hat. And that's why I went with it. I like that one. You know, so we're rocking it, folks. So obviously with the bucket hat, this is a really trendy look, but overall I chose a mannequin just because it is a nice spring look. And I think with the festival season coming up and the time of year, couldn't be more fitting, a nice denim on denim look. Bucket hat optional. Your decision. I think it's hot depending on where you're at. But hey, really happy with the results of the first Matthew Coleman Mannequin Challenge. Hope you guys like this video. If you got any value from it, let me know in the comments and uh, give me a like. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay on point.